Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, I'm happy to see you. Hello Leo, hello Emily, hello Ava, I'm happy to see you. Hello Henry, hello Aiden, hello Julian, I'm happy to see you. Hello, Nora. Hello, Mason. Hello, Lorenzo. I'm happy to see you. Hello, Annie. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sydney. I'm happy to see you. Hello, Penny. Hello, Vienna. Hello, Miss Joey. I'm happy to see you. Welcome to Circle Time. The last time we were together, we talked about the calendar, and it was April 1st. Okay, well, that was last week, and a couple of days have passed since uh, we lasted the calendar. Today is this day right here in this square on the calendar. So we need to figure out what day of the week that is. Well, we know it's April. And we can sing our months of the year song. Are you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. And it is April, which is the fourth month of the year. We've been together for January, February, March, and now April. Okay, let's figure out what day of the week it is right here. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. Are you ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, let's figure out what day this is. Let's see, Sunday, Monday. It's Monday. Now let's figure out what number goes there. We'll have to do some counting because we missed some days. Are you ready? What comes after the number one? Two. Okay. What comes after the number two? Three. What comes after the number three? The number four. What comes after the number four? <gasps> number five. And yesterday, yesterday was April 5th. So today is April, comes after five. You're right, six. Okay, so today is Monday, April 6th, 2020. Let's look over here at our seasons chart. It's still spring and we're getting more and more spring weather each day, which is very nice. I hope you guys have been outside looking for signs of spring. You see, I made some flowers just like the ones I gave you instructions for. Aren't they pretty? I hope you guys made some flowers to celebrate spring. And our weather today, let's see, hmm, the weather today, for me, looking outside my window, it is sunny. I love sunny days. Now, our letter of the week, let's see if you can figure that out. Last week, we talked about the letter V. V, Van, V. What comes after V? That will be our, weather, our letter of this week. Let's say the alphabet and see if we can figure it out. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, 
Q-R-S-T-U-V-E. You got it. W. Let's look at our W. Okay, this is the letter W. It's the uppercase W and the lowercase W. And they both look they're like the same shape. This the lowercase is a little bit smaller. Okay. Now this is an interesting picture here. This is a picture of a cloud. Okay. And this is a picture of the wind. You really can't see the wind, right? You feel the wind. And sometimes you can tell if it's windy out if you look at a flag blowing in the wind, but you really can't see wind. But this is a good way for someone to draw a picture of the wind, right? So W is for wind. Wind starts with W. So W makes the W sound. W, wind, W. Very good. I'm going to show you how you can write your W's. I sent home some writing sheets with a W on it so you can practice. Okay, I'm going to show you how we write the letter W. To find my marker. All right, you can see that okay? Okay, so when we write the letter W, we point to the skyline. And we slide down to the grass line, slide up to the plane line, slide down to the grass line, and slide back up to the skyline. Very good. And we make a lowercase w. We are going to point to the plane line right here, right? and slide down to the grass line and slide back up to the plane line and then slide back down to the grass line and slide back up to the plane line. So we wrote the letter W. W, wind, w. Very good. You can practice that on your letter sheets. And guess what I have? I have our letter luggage all ready for you to do some guessing. Okay, so in this letter luggage this week, we have things that start with the letter W, uppercase W and lowercase W. Are you ready for your hints? Let's see what we got in here. Remember how to play, right? I am going to give you a hint, give you some, I'll describe the things that are in the box, and you have to try to guess what it is, and you have to remember that it starts with a W, and W makes the W sound. Okay, so I'm going to look in my box and find something good for you to guess. All right, I'm going to make it an easy one, okay? All right, this is a really big animal that lives in the ocean. And it has a blowhole on it, that it, and it blows air and water up through its blowhole. Really big animal. Can you guess? A whale. Did you guess a whale? Awesome. What what whale? Okay, let's see what else I have in my box. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. All right, so this is something that's a circle shape and it's on things that move, like cars and bikes. It helps things roll along. Can you think what it is? It starts with the w sound, circle shape. Helps things go. Wheels. See that? A wheel. Ooh, a wheel. Wheels make things go, right? And it is in the shape of a circle. See that? Okay. All right. This is something um, that we drink. It's really good for our bodies. 
it's a clear drink. You can see right through it. And it's also something we use to our hands, right? Wash our hands. Wash starts with W, right? We use a little bit of soap and, and we also drink it. Wah, wah. I'm sure you got this one. Water. It's a bottle of water. Yeah, we can drink it and we use it to wash our hands, right? All righty, let's see what else is in here. Ooh, I like these. Ooh, here's another animal. Now, this is an animal that we talked about a couple months ago when we were studying the Arctic. It lives in the Arctic. It has big tusks coming down from its face and it's brown and very fat. It has a lot of fat on it to keep it warm. Mm. They swim in the water too. Starts with a W. Can you guess? A walrus. He's kind of tiny. Walrus. See, there's his tusks. Okay. What else we got? Ooh, another animal. Another animal. Let's see. This animal lives in the Arctic. It also lives um, other places, not just the Arctic. Lives in the wilderness, in the woods. It's a wild animal. Another W word, wild. Hmm. Kind of looks like a dog. But it lives in the wild. It looks like a dog, but it's a wild animal. Yes, this is a wolf. W for wolf. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, this is a good one. All right. Okay, so this is something you wear on your wrist. Okay, and it tells you what time it is. So it has a clock face on it. But it's so it's a tiny clock that you wear on your wrist. Does anybody know what that is? It's a watch. This is a watch. W -w watch. You can wear it on your wrist and you can look at it to see what time it is. Okay, the next thing I have for you to guess is a kind of food. A kind of food that lots of people eat during the summer. Start with the w sound, and it's pink. And before you cut it open, it's just like this big, giant green melon. Okay, and then when you slice it inside, it's pink. It's very juicy. Tastes really good on a hot day. So yes, w w watermelon. Watermelon starts with the letter W. Okay, hey. see one more thing. All right, this is oh something that you can see through. Um, it, you have probably have a bunch of them on your house, and we have them in our classroom. And it's something you can look out of to see outside clear. It starts with a W sound. Wuh, wuh. Window. Did you guess window? Yes, this is a little Lego window. A window starts with W. All right. Oh, I do have one more. This is a good one. All right. This is something that lives in the ground and it's long and skinny. And it squirms around, and robins like to eat them. And sometimes you use them when you go fishing, because fish like to eat them too. If you want to catch a fish, you could put this on your hook. Can you guess? <laughs> a worm! Ooh, wiggly worm! Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly worm! Ooh! Wah, 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 worm! I'm going to feed him to my, my robin. Remember we talked about the robins the other day? And we talked about signs of spring? They like to look for worms in the ground during the spring. Okay, I hope you did a good job guessing. I gave a lot of good hints. 
we are done with our letter luggage, the next thing I want to do is read you a story. This is a story about animals that live on the farm. And Mrs. Wishy Washy, that's Mrs. Wishy Washy, she likes to give them a bath. And they don't like getting a bath, so they decide to run away. Let's find out what happens to them when they run away. Okay, so the name of this book is Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm. That is the title. And the author is Joy Cowley, and the illustrator is Elizabeth Fuller. Let's find out what these animals do. Okay, this is Mrs. Wishy Washy, and this is her farm. It's her farm. Here is her house and her truck and her barn. Here in the barn is the old hen tub where all the animals go for a scrub. Wishy washy, wishy washy. Moo, the cow cries. I hate this old tub. I've got soap in my eyes. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, the pig squeals. I have been scrubbed from my nose to my heels. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy, quack, the duck moans. I've got suds in my feathers and aches in my bones. <gasps> the scrubbing is over. The tub goes away. No more washing, the animals say. Moo, moo. Eee, eee. Quack, quack, quack. Bye, Mrs. Wishy-Washy, mean old Mrs. Wishy-Washy. We are leaving you, and we won't be back. Aw. They don't want to take baths anymore, so they're leaving. Baths down the highway. They run side by side. Where will they go? Where will they hide? the city, squeals the pig. We'll go to the city where the barns are big. But the city is as wild as a farm stampede. There is nowhere to rest and nowhere to feed. The three hungry animals walk into a barn. There is food on the dishes, but it's not like the farm. Uh-oh. Was that a barn or a restaurant? <laughs> the cow looks around with an anxious face. I think we could be in the wrong eating place. I don't think he wants to eat salad. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. Uh -oh. <gasps> they run for their lives to the barn next door. 
and find themselves in a hardware store. Oops. What happened? They make a mess in all the paint. <laughs> I think they're going to need a bath now. What do you think? Let's find out what happens next. Then a van pulls up in two shakes of a tail. It's the pickup van from the animal jail. They're taken away. Oh, what bad luck for the cow and the pig and the poor old duck. They're taken away. Where are they going to be taken to? Oh, they sit in a huddle, hungry and pale, in the cold, muddy cage of the animal jail. Then the unhappy cow and the pig and the duck hear the chug, chug, chug of the old farm truck. Who could that be? They moo and they squeal and they quack and they cheer. It's dear Mrs. Wishy-Washy. She's here. We're happy to see her now. Far from the city and back on the farm, the animals run to the old red barn. Now Mrs. Wishy-Washy fills up the tub. Come on, you three. You need a good scrub. They still have paint all over them. Oh, bliss, says the cow. And she jumps right in. Oh, bliss, says the pig, with a happy grin. Oh, bliss, says the duck, splashing in with the rest. There is no doubt about it. Home is the best. Wishy-washy, wishy-washy. The end. Wishy washy, wishy washy. Does those sound like W words? Wishy washy. Good story. Well, I'm going to end here and I will see you again in a few days. I hope you enjoyed our circle time together. Bye. I miss you guys. Hope to see you soon.